Okay, the wires that left the, the, coal, the uh, master fuel injection relay, a major portion of them come up through this loom right here. One of the most important wires that exits this loom is this little ground right here, and there are several of them. Don't forget, if you ever remove this to reconnect this ground, take a little sandpaper and clean this up. Make sure it's nice and clean and that this is a good smooth contact. Make this little ground wire does a lot of things. These wires come in, split up in six ways with two contacts each to each injector. Splitting off of this is the main loom that walks and attaches to with small bendable wire holders. You've got three separate sets of wires. One of them has a red tape on it if it's still original and that denotes your cylinder head temperature switch. The other one is your auxiliary air regulator wiring comes back up over, oops, sorry, I went a little further with that. Here's your auxiliary air regulator wiring right here along with the cold start injector. I'll get this distributor cap out of the way here just for a minute so we can see down into where these wires go. Attached to the cylinder head is a small aluminum housing and on that housing are several electro sensors. One of which is a cylinder head temperature switch and that's the brains of this entire outfit. If there ever was a boss in this fuel injection setup after everything's working, it's it. Everything answers to it, except for a very small trimming amount that's done with ambient air temperature, and that's the intake air temperature working through the airflow meter. If you look inside the airflow meter, you'll see a small plastic nipple sticking out of the inside of the wall there, and that is the, air, the auxiliary air, uh, the ambient air temperature sensor. I've got too many things going on in my mind here. Okay, these are hard to get to. If you go to disconnect them, take your time and get the clips off of them underneath. The, both the distributor advanced and retarded coils respond to this sensor on any of you who have two pickups in your distributor. One is advanced and phase some six degrees earlier for a cold start, start up, it starts on, a, on an advanced side and then after it warms up, switches it back over to the cold side.